water, sanitation, energy, transport, telecommunication. Infrastructure services are essential for the quality of lives and livelihoods. But today, billions of people face the consequences of unreliable infrastructure and disruptions to infrastructure cost the global economy hundreds of billions every year. Natural hazards are one of the causes of these disruptions. Floods, storms and earthquakes do more than just damage to roads or power plants. They also disrupt wider infrastructure networks, which in turn affect access to healthcare, education and jobs, as well as supply chains. This means lower income for people, communities, businesses and countries. The latest research shows that more resilient infrastructure is a sound, profitable and urgent investment. What does more resilient infrastructure look like? It could be hardened electric poles and cell towers, better designed roads and water treatment plants. Beyond individual assets, entire systems can be better designed with more diversity and redundancy so that localised damages do not spread through infrastructure networks. Because disruptions cannot always be prevented, businesses and households should also be better prepared with adaptive supply chains and basic emergency supplies in every home. Altogether, increasing the resilience of infrastructure is not very expensive. It would only increase overall investment needs by around 3%. Thanks to fewer disruptions and lower economic impacts, the net benefit of investing in resilient infrastructure in developing countries would be $4.2 trillion. That is $4 in benefit for each dollar invested. There is no time to waste. A decade of building infrastructure that is not resilient will cost us $1 trillion more. What will it take? The report gives five practical recommendations to make infrastructure more resilient and build a safer and more prosperous future. Find out more.